Hi everybody! I got a couple of requests for um, to show how to do the sweater flowers and the um, I'm going to call it a flowy flower, uh, like the flower that I did on Lily's Christmas stocking. Um, so I'm going to start with the sweater flowers, but first, Happy New Year, everybody! Hope everybody had um, good holiday season and and are now in recovery mode after all that hectic pace. Um, so for the sweater flowers, um, it's uh, whoop, these that I had done before that I showed. Um, you're going to start with um, a sweater, cut circles. I mean, they're, they're super, super easy. You're just going to go around. It would help to have my fabric scissors on the desk. Here we go. Okay, so you're just going to go around the circle and put in five slits. Don't cut all the way to the center. And they don't have to be perfectly measured or perfectly straight. I don't use a template to cut the circles or to do this part. Uh, you just kind of eyeball it. And you do that for several. Um, I already have a few done because I'm never sure exactly how many I'll need. But then. I go around and just round off all those corners. I'll go through and do it one way first so I don't have to change my angles trying to get both corners of each petal at the same time. I'm just rounding it off again. doesn't have to be perfect. And then I flip it over so that I can just do the same thing in the same direction. It's just easier for me. So just rounding those off some. I actually just spent the last two days cleaning my room so I can actually walk. Got enough floor space where I was able to vacuum and now I'm putting stuff on the floor. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. So you're just going to do several little petals like that, whatever size you want. Um, this is one of the thinner weight sweaters um, that once I start to do, layer them up, they're still going to sit flat. So put a little bit of glue in the center and then offset your petals when you lay it down. Squish it in there, and you can see how flat that is. Nothing to it. You might want to, you might want to keep it flat. You might not. I like a little dimension on my flowers. So what I do from here is one petal at a time. I don't think there's going to be any way to do this without my arm being in the way. Glue gun, left-handed, danger. So put a little bit of glue down here, and then. I actually pinch the petal into the glue so that it raises up and has some dimension. And I do that going all the way around. Glue strings, no fun. So I'm pinching that in to the glue. I'll try to hold this one up and see if I can do it so that you can see better. So I have it in there and I'm just pinching the petal into the glue. And you can see how they're staying up and not laying flat anymore. And that's what it looks like in the center where you can see where it's been pinched. And just keep going around doing that. I actually tried to do this video already, but I used a loose weave sweater and it was a mess. Don't know if I'm going to load that up or not. I might for the humor value. I have to watch it first. <laughs> but there that is. I've got two layers of flowers now. Go ahead and put on another one, another dollop in the middle. 
offset the petals and then I go around again glue at the base of each petal and pinch into the glue getting glue strings everywhere it's a good thing hot glue is good stuff I, <clears throat> otherwise I don't think any of us would put up with the glue strings I know they say you can get rid of them with a heat gun but I'm always afraid I'm going to melt the rest of the glue along with it and that would be no good after spending time on your project One more petal to pinch. Okay, so now we have three layers of flower. You can see that's starting to take shape. I think I'm just going to do one more layer. glue in the center, offset the petals, pinch. This is actually a good flower to work on if you have some frustration. Somebody's been irritating you and you just want to Pinch the daylights out of them. Take it out on your flower. <laughs> Not saying that I want to be pinching anybody these days, fortunately, but you can have some fun with it. somehow I'm not quite sure how but my bottom layer is a lot bigger than the rest of it I don't remember that happening so I think I'm going to do this from the back side try this and just squish it in a little bit In that better. I could have just cut it down, but I just like to try and play with some new things just to see how they work. Boop, separate. And one more. Okay, and then you can fluff it up a little bit, put put a center in if you want to. But there you go. There's one scrunched sweater flower. And then if you if you want to do the little rose like this. Um, you do the same thing, you cut your circles, you do your five slits, round off your corners, and then it's the same process as the um, as doing paper roses. And that's where you're going to fold in two opposite petals together. That makes your little bud. And then bring up and glue the side petals and this first one always takes more time than getting the rest of the petals on it so there's the center and 
and just plop the glue in the middle just like you do the paper flowers. Try to offset where you position it. Set it down in there and then just glue your petals up. And I just squirt a little glue and push the petal up. Okay, so there you have that now, and I'm going to add one more layer to this, I think. And the size of it depends on what size you start your circles with. So you can make them as small as you want or as big as you want. But I do like how these uh, thin sweaters seem to work out pretty well for doing the roses. And then there you go, a little sweater rose. And then I'll just show you real quick the uh, the ones I did earlier when I tried to film first time. This is the first one, where it's a very loose weave and the um, you know coming on threaded some. So it did get some dimension, but you really it just looks kind of like a blob. I mean, it'll be okay with the center in it, yeah, if I cut the shank off of that and get that in. And then this was the attempt at the rose, but the center portion of it just got all squished together because the glue was getting everywhere because of the loose weave. And then that's it from the side. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to show that video unless I happen to watch it and bust out laughing at myself. <laughs> so... So there you have it, sweater flowers, and I will be back to show you the flowy flower. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.